Vehicles pitching down range. Pressures are nominal. Power and telemetry nominal. All right, as you can see, Falcon 9 has cleared the tower, lifted off from Cape Canaveral Falcon Space Force Station. And we just heard the call out that the vehicle is supersonic. We're currently going to throttle down the engines in preparation for max Q. Coming max up. Q. Oh, there we heard it. So that was the moment of greatest aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will experience in flight today. Everything looking nominal with stage one trajectory. Beautiful view of the Coda, of the Florida coastline. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one is back to So you can see there on the right hand side of your screen. Second stage and back engine has ignited. The first stage on the left hand side is performing the boost back, uh, which, as you saw just moments ago, the first stage flipped itself over and is now making its way back to the coast of Florida. You can see the grid fins beginning to deploy there on the left hand side of your screen. Stage one entry break caught up. And there on your screen, we can see that that entry burn has begun. Once again, this burn is designed to slow the booster down as it returns through the dense part of the atmosphere. Stage two on nominal trajectory. As we just heard there, Stage one entry burn shut down. We can continue to look good with the second stage. As I mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to recover this booster for the 10th time today, and we're targeting a land landing uh, at landing zone one. The first stage has just one more burn left, the landing burn. It begins just before touchdown and provides the booster a soft descent before landing. About the same time that Falcon lands, we are expecting Seco or second engine cutoff uh, one of our second stage. Just a few seconds away from landing. Stage one is transonic. Vehicles traveling around 900 miles per hour really puts the deceleration into perspective. In the span of less than a minute, we'll have reduced from twice the, twice the speed of the jet all the way down to zero as the rocket lands. There's a view on the right-hand side Stage two in terminal guidance. of the landing jacket landing zone one. successfully landed this Falcon 9 for the 10th